Basically, cardiovascular disease is an umbrella term. It refers to any disease processes that affect cardiovascular system. Cardio in Greek word is means the heart. Vascular is a great versa. So any diseases process which affect any part of the heart or blood vessel, we call it cardiovascular disease. Ranging from, we know the heart is actually made up from a muscular pump. Okay, any disease affect the corneal artery, causing the ischemic heart disease or heart attack, this part of the cardiovascular disease. If the disease process affect the heart muscle, it can cause cardiomyopathy, causing heart failure. Whereas, if the disease process affect the valve, okay, we call it the valve or the door between the chamber, it can cause the valve to narrow or cause the valve to leak. As time go on, it can cause the heart to be dilated and causing heart failure. And some disease process actually affect the conduction system. We call it the wiring system. You know, for heart to pump, they must have received the instruction, okay, to tell the heart how regular it need to beat and how fast or how slow. If the disease affect this conduction system or this wiring system, you can get abnormal heart rhythm. We call it arrhythmia. Or a case, something the heart can be too slow until they stop and the patient can faint. Or if the heartbeat is too fast, the heart can actually can pump out the blood from the heart. The patient can collapse. It's quite cardiopulmonary arrest, whereby the patient died suddenly. And a case we heard about your neighbor, probably that young baby, we call it blue baby, when they fit or when they cry. That's probably because there's a hole or shine in the heart, as we can show here. Okay, if there's a hole in the heart. It can cause the mixture of the blood between the left and right heart, causing blue baby. Or sometimes it can be because of the switching of the great versa. Okay, the aorta actually go to the right heart and the pulmonary artery go to the left heart. So this causes the blue baby. And this our patient is so-called congenital heart disease. And another process affecting the covering of the heart, we call it pericardium. Whereby the pericardium is a covering of the heart. If the Covering becomes thickened, the heart cannot relax, thus it cannot fill up. So that causes pericarditis. All these are called cardiovascular disease. Okay? So, of course, the most commonest cardiovascular disease affect our patient. The number one killer we call ischemic heart disease or heart attack, basically deferring to the disease affecting the corneal artery.